report on this computer. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Am I? It won't let me record. Am I? You're co -host? Co -host. You are. There's no record on this computer. Oh, it, it says it's recording, but you're recording. I don't know. I can't record it. I'll just steal okay. it from you. You can steal okay. it from me. I had to steal from you a couple weeks ago. So, <laughs> it worked. No, All right. No worries. Now we have each other. Okay. Let's uh, open up our uh, pink huddle for this January 16th, 2024 uh, with a, a blessing real quick. Heavenly Father, thank you for our Tuesday nights together, the opportunity to talk and share and and cheer each other on and learn. And I just, I just ask that we're all good stewards of the blessings you've given us through um, this company, uh, our products and the sisterhood um, in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Well, we got lots to do tonight. So, Oh, there's Mary. Let me get Mary in here. Um, let's start off with a quick crow time. Love to do that. Love to hear if you've had, you know, we'll, we'll do a sales count up shortly, but would like to know what you have to share with us. Raise your hand, make sure you're unmuted. And uh, we want to hear from you. Who's excited about something? <laughs> Hello, anybody? <laughs> I actually, okay, I am about done. something. I have a booking for somebody that we've been trying to connect for almost two years and she's supposed to come next set. I know. So two persistence years. pays off. Um, <laughs> But it optimistically does. next Saturday. So we'll see what happens. I'll report back on Tuesday. Congratulations. <laughs> Woo. Kathy Thiemann, I saw your hand up. Oh, I didn't have my hand up. I was doing something on my screen. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Raise your hand. You gotta say something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's so funny. That reminds me. I gotta tell you something real quick, Dee Dee. I'm right. glad to be here. Good. <laughs> Do you, yeah. Like I was a kid and I waved at my mom across the, the gymnasium at an auction sale. <laughs> and the auctioneer's like, hey, all right, did you mean to bid, Susan? Blah, blah, blah. I didn't think it is. But he went on like, oh. <laughs> you make, make that thing and we think you got something to say. Dee Dee? Oh, goodness. Um, I just, not really pro, but I just want to tell you something um, or iterate something that I've been doing that is really fun um, and I'm having a lot of success out of. But when I do uh, faces, I am pulling a... Um, cream uh cream eye color brush or the concealer brush whatever you want to call it and laying it out for her to use with the liquid eye colors and I'm busting a move with them liquid eye colors they're <laughs> loving them <laughs> that's an 80s um I see a bust a move <laughs> I don't know <laughs> bust a honey <laughs> but it, that's great it, it's really doing good and they love the brush. So they usually buy the brush with the eye colors. I mean, just for, food for thought, it's something different. I think we talked about that just a little bit last week because that's one of our I uh, want to talk about again. offers. And well, let's talk about it again. You can, that's <laughs> great. Good for you. Um, well, anybody else? Yeah. You know, just to go along with that. I mean, if you're doing a quick facial with people, I mean, those are the best little tool up your sleeve. And just that way they don't have to be looking at all the eyeshadows and making decisions like that. You just give them a, they've got four things and they can usually use two of them. So I love the liquid eyeshadows. Use them all the time personally. So awesome. Somebody else has got to have something exciting. Well, I started using the liquid eyeshadows since last week. So see, yeah. on tonight. That looks great. <laughs> I love them. Yeah, behind my big old, big old buggy glasses. But yeah, that work. Anybody else? Everybody just glad to be here. Are you staying warm? It's cold here, like negative five every morning. Who <laughs> it is cold that way <laughs> too? Yeah. So, um, what else we got? That was crow time. You want to you want to do the sales count up? Yeah, let's do sales count up. If you opened your business last week and you sold anything at all, would you raise your hand and just give it a big old wave because you opened your business? Uh, okay. I did, I did. <laughs> if you sold at least $100, leave that hand up in the air. I sold $100. Okay, there's Betty and Benita and Nora. Okay, and Good. Kathy, at least $200. Keep that hand going. Okay, we've got Nora. Okay, anybody else? Okay, Nora, what was your total for the week? Uh, my total was one thousand three hundred and one dollars. 
You would have been here a while in one hundred dollars. I know. You have to go all the way up there. And that's amazing. I want to know how you did it. Okay, I got there by going to two of my little old lady homes, which you know I love to do every month. So. Um, this particular time at both places, I got some new customers that wanted to try skincare. So that was pretty exciting. Usually they just want a brow tint and a lipstick, but I'm, you know, each place it was a couple hundred bucks to just hang out with them for a couple hours. Not too bad. Um, and then I did have a few orders online when word spread that the, uh, MK men's shaving is going away. I, I contacted all my people, one in particular, I said, I can only order three, so I want them all. <laughs> and whatever you have in stock, I want them all because her son just absolutely loves them. So, and then that just snowballed into, oh, I might as well reorder my volume firm, and yada, yada, yada. So it was well, a lot of- Just get a volume firm set. Yeah, while, yeah, yeah while I'm at it. Yeah, I just throw in some- Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it was just a lot of reorders and then my two days with my sweet little old ladies. Awesome. So, That's awesome. Fun okay. week. Yeah, it was a fun week. What kind of applause do you want? You want the dog pound? You want a round of applause? You oh, want the wave? I'll okay. take the round today. Let's take okay. the round. Round of applause. Yay. Round of applause <laughs> for Nora. Thank you, thank you. I always wonder if your husband's walking in as you're going. <laughs> Acting like a seal. That's hilarious. Okay. Um, we've got some important deadlines. Who knows what tomorrow's deadline is? PCP. PCP. Thank you, Kathy. Yep. PCP deadline. Don't miss it. That this one snuck up on me. I've got it. As soon as this call is off, I'm on the computer. And it's spring. Mine. And it's so the, the, I mean, it's, I, well, let me just show you. Cause you all have already seen the cover. Cause I think people have been posting it and it doesn't say any secrets about what's going on, but hang on. Look how Awesome. Does that not just make you want to sigh and get out in the sunshine? Yes, and it does. This really kind of takes away all the, the gloom and doom that we've got going around. You want oh. this in your client's hands. If you don't do PCP, shame on you. There you go. Okay. We have a, have a new consultant on here, Mary. So the preferred customer program is, it, it's just, it's like Mary Kay's being your virtual assistant where you can sign clients up under the preferred customer program link. I don't know where it is. It's still under business tools. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Scroll down is. and you can add, you know, whether it's one or 10 or 500 and what is it? 95 cents, mm -hmm. 95 cents per name. And the company will send them a beautiful lookbook with a letter on the back of it. Looks like it came from you and you, you can't buy and mail. I'll have a sample, a sample. in them too. You cannot buy and mail these lookbooks for 95 cents. So it's it's a great way, especially as a brand new consultant, Mary, to get a catalog in front of everybody that you hope to have as a future customer. So that'd be great as a newbie as well. Okay, um, we touched on discontinued products. Uh, we know the shave cream is going away. Teresa, did you tell me it's not so much because of low sales volume, but of... Um, no, something with the manu manufacturer, manu third party manufacturer that that they're having issues with, which has been a you know a constant problem for a little while, and I know okay, the think of that battling. So they <laughs> are looking for alternatives for the shave cream. So just know now, however long that might take. I mean, they, I think you know their intention is to keep a shave men's shave cream in the line. So however long it takes for them to come up with something, but uh, so. That might, but the skin vigorates Sonic. And again, I think it's another issue with, you know, the company that was making them for us because we manufacture product, but we don't manufacture some of the other stuff or the, or the, the dispensers and like the skin vigorates Sonic and that manufacturer just went out of business, lock, stock and barrel. And, you know, so the company's really transparent about what's going on. Make sure you're on in touch. If you, are wondering what is why are we having back orders on stuff and why what's get on there and read and if we're not the only company that is dealing with some of this uh supply chain stuff that's going on too so it's it is the world as it is right now it's not mary case fault you know that they this in 35 years 34 years i've never dealt with anything like this but you know the company's going crazy doing the very best that they can do and i think we have to give them grace 
and you know thank them for you know the the support and the tools that they're giving us and we're going to talk about that tonight with social media they they've anything you need to help you further your business is available to you and the company has made that available to you on in touch so um and the new in touch is a bit of, of a of a learning curve, I think, for all of us, but there's some really great, I'm starting to learn and see some really great things about it that I'm loving. Um, but so, yeah, a couple of things being discontinued, and then we've got a few um, products that are going up in price, and to tell you the truth, I don't have the list in front of me, but it's posted on our group page, and Susan will be posting it on your all's group page, mm -hmm. um, and I think they're not going up until February, I may in the next order form possibly. So check what they are. And if you need there's something there you need to stock up on, they're giving you a little bit of notice there. So uh uh that's it. And um we have a contest. We do have a contest. And here it is. Can you see my screen? Okay. Yes. There's our little uh Mary Kay spring buzz kits. That's what they're called when the directors get the products that are coming down the pike. We get it a little early and um, it's called the buzz kit. So we're going to give some buzz kits away based on your January wholesale order. So this is just kind of fun. Um, you know, any products that are coming down the pike are always top secret, but you can earn them for free from us. Uh, one to mm -hmm. five full-size products in the month of January based on your wholesale orders. And it's your total wholesale. You know, you might be going, oh my gosh, I just placed a, you know, a $579 order and at 600, I'll get two new products. Well, you know, by the end of the month with, with your um, customer delivery service orders and, and different things, you can always bump up. So it's your total orders by the end of the month. And remember at the $600 level, you get your sore night like never before. Um, it's a Mary Kay acrylic memo board, which looks really cute. So if Mary Kay's giving it, I'm winning it. And I think that's how y'all ought to feel. 600 should always be our minimum, I think, for the month anyway. That's just $300 in sales a week. Mm -hmm. You reinvest half, 600, you'll always be a prize winner and you'll always be a star consultant. Okay, that's bare minimum in my book. So that is the spring buzz kits. It'll also have a new spring lookbook and any available samples for the spring product. So who's excited? I'm excited. <laughs> well, let me just tell you, because the directors did get our buzz kit, right, Suze? We did. You actually, <laughs> you, actually, um, you actually left yours laying on your desk for like a day. <laughs> And I know, within, I know. within five minutes of getting <laughs> the product that was sitting out, I got to hide that. <laughs> so this is <laughs> exciting buzz kit. Um, truly, I, I, I don't want to give rips into anything, that thing, <laughs> but um, there are, I'm in love with all of it. I'll just say this. And there's two products in particular that I am just over the moon about. So there you go. Yep. I know. We can't no, I know. That's all I can say. That's all I can but say. I will say, we're, we're, we're pretty, pretty, pretty good. good. Because you won't be able to order it until the 10th or the 15th. If you do PCP, you'll be able to order on the 10th. But if you win it, you'll be able to get it because we, we're able to order. Well, we won't be able to order until the first of the month because we've got to see when everybody's done. But we'll still get it in before you'll be able to order it. We'll get them. We'll order and we'll send them to you through customer delivery service right. um, at least by the 3rd of February. I would say so. Yeah. You can hold me. So you have it before the everybody can order. You can they are. Oh, can't see it. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you know, we're pretty good about that considering we can barely hold, keep a secret. And yeah. we've been doing this for over three decades each. And we've been pretty good. I think there might have only been one or two times where we like, okay, you guys are sworn to secrecy and you can't tell anybody. But this time we can't tell you. Maybe maybe three times, but not very not okay, very often. Maybe three times in 36 years have I not kept a secret, but that's, <laughs> y'all know that's a lot. Um, so anyway, that's, that's exciting. So tonight we want to get on into our training and what y'all came on here. It's about social media and, um, Teresa, I'm letting you kick it off and I'm just going to chime in. Okay? okay. All right. Well, you know, obviously I think we're all very well aware that social media used properly can be a big asset in a business and especially in a direct selling business because it is all about community and networking and people and relationships. And again, 
used properly, it can be magical. And I see people zooming their businesses because they know how to utilize all aspects of social media. But the only way that they learned how to do it was to do it. You know, they didn't just, you know, wake up one day and were able to maneuver all of the different aspects of social media. And I think sometimes we get so overwhelmed by it that we don't even venture out. So I think you have to find a medium that works for you and start there and then build on it because, you know, there's there's Facebook, there's Instagram, there's TikTok, there's Snapchat, on and on and on. And, you know, for, for me personally, it's been Facebook and what I let I let whatever I post on Facebook go into Instagram, so I don't intentionally post into Instagram hardly ever. But what I post on Facebook, it's set to show there, and those are the only two things that I really use. And and so again, I think it's just to have um, a, an active knowledge of how to use the tools that that the companies put out and that social media has out there for us to start building a foundation on and. The company has smartly given us a great resource and they've had things, of course, over the last few years on social media on in touch, but there's some new things and Susan, she's going to take us over. If you want to go under business tools and then you go to social media central. Here it is. Hello, let me here let me get over here. Sorry. That's okay. Um, let's see. Share my screen right here. Okay, there it is. So this is your in touch under business tools, right? Yep. Let me look here. Business tools drops down social media central. You see that right here? Right there. Digital yeah. image library, video library, all kinds of stuff. Exactly. Yeah. So definitely you want to click around in there. You guys get on this new in touch and spend a few minutes every day learning what the resources and the stuff that they've given to us. So this is this is all about social media. There's a video about being a social creator. Mm -hmm. They're they're talking about the social trend, about skincare, about how to use the hashtag my MK skin, about how to tag the company so that you can actually um maybe even be, you know, they might even show one of your videos if you tag the company. Oh, oh that'd be fun. Even if, and, and they give you a couple of different hashtags, just read through the information. And then Susan, if you keep scrolling down for a second, I keep trying to scroll the screen. And it doesn't I know work. you do, but when you're in charge of the mouse, it's like this the whole time. And we're like, can you I, stop I it? I want you all to follow along. Um, <laughs> social media playbook. There's a winter playbook. And so it kind of tells you like what you can post every couple of days, every two or three days. It gives you copy. It gives you pictures. It gives you ideas. It's just a tremendous resource. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel. And again, and we've talked about this many times, for those of you know consultants who are still just building their, their group page and you're still trying to figure that out, find, find and follow somebody that you really just admire or you love what they're posting and copy and paste their stuff. You guys, people don't care. And that you don't have to, again, do it, you know, find your, obviously Susan, me, probably any consultants on our unit. If you see something that we're doing, I, you've got my 1000% permission to copy and paste and post anything that I'm doing. That's why I put it out there. It's not just for my customers, but it's for my unit. Um, so to help you grow. So there's, it's all out there for you. And it's so a great little video. I was watching it while I was fixing dinner. That's really good. Love these hashtags. And and Mary Leachman was asking me the other day, what are some hashtags? The my MK skin. And don't you love, I, I almost always put hashtag my MK life. Mm -hmm. That's that has gotten so many hits. I think Linda Tupin and that whole group said, start using this hashtag because when people look up Mary Kay and it, it goes to the most popular tag, whatever. So there's always really good positive stuff. This even shows you how to do a reel. Chris, you're going to have to show me how to do that. Like they're talking about linking reels together. I'm like, oh, but I'm old. I don't now know that I'm not. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll sure, Jay but I can probably easily show you how to make a reel. That's fun. Making a reel. Yeah, that'd be. Yeah. 
MK confident, you know, let that be a hashtag, hashtag MK confident, you know, um, all these ideas, the, the Mary Kay Facebook group documents, videos, all these classes, here's social media education, downloadable videos. What's that? Let me just click on that real quick. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. So you can download these and, you know, obviously, you know, link these to your client pages, but these are downloadable. So you can watch them anytime, anywhere. You can show like it at a party. Download these and then I will. At a party on your iPad. Yeah. Or I'll put a link to the page for this product on my Mary Kay website. I'll put that URL on there. It's usually a long URL. There's like a bit.ly.com or something. You can shorten a URL for what that's worth. But see, I think I'm so savvy that I know how to do that, but I don't know how to do any of this other stuff. <laughs> but it is great. I mean, Teresa, doesn't it crack you up when you think about three and three plus decades ago, we had a consultant's guide that basically was three pages that said, welcome, good luck, and God bless. And yeah. there we went. And yeah. now... I mean, if, and if we didn't get a newsletter from the director, we didn't know about it. Now, yeah. instant take. Good Greek was the last time we even needed to do a newsletter because everything's on our Facebook and we can recognize and do all that. So, yep, we walked uphill both ways in the snow. We sure did. We were the pioneers and now you guys got it so easy. So take advantage of all this on In Touch. If you never, ever even had us or saw us again, you could teach yourself to be a top, top selling consultant from what Absolutely. Mary Kay has on in touch. It's amazing. Just yeah. it. So, but you have us too. So there you go. All right. Okay. I do want to share something really funny here. Let me see if I can pull it up. Um, you know, I, I like to, I, we, we talk about putting some original content and stuff of your own, you know, it's fun to steal from everybody else, but it's occasionally fun. Um, to do your own thing. And here's something I recently posted. <laughs> um, Tanner modeled some masks for me the other day. <laughs> can you see that on your screen? Uh, yes, I can. Yes, you can, and it feels creepy. Go, that's my kid, you know, but oh my word. And, and I got this idea because there was a director who put her husband's or her boyfriend He'd, he'd be modeling the cologne or something. You'd never see his face. You'd just see his biceps and his bulging veins. And the other day, Tanner's like, mom, I'm breaking out right here. I'm like, oh, you need some mask. Here, let me take your picture with that. He has no idea that I posted it on here. <laughs> he'd probably kill me. But, he um, would definitely kill you. Oh my gosh. Oh, that my hashtag, goodness. thanks Tanner, you know, but have fun with it or, or your dog, you know, will with the, your Mary Kay delivery bag in his teeth or something cute. Just be creative. People and take them. lots of pictures. You never know when you might use them. Let's say you've got a really great day and, you know, your makeup looks really good. Grab a lipstick or grab a finishing spray. and Just take your picture with it or have, you know, do little things mm -hmm. like that that don't the impromptu and just save them so that when you're ready to make a post, scroll back through, oh my gosh, that's that one with the finishing spray and talk about finishing spray. And you can, you don't have, again, you don't have to come up with that copy because then you can go to someplace else to pull up information about Mary Kay finishing spray. So you can even search for hashtag finishing spray and probably find some really cool things. So you guys, again, just embrace it and have fun with it. People, you know, in, in using it properly, like I said, then um, you'll, you'll, you'll grow an audience and you'll grow a community and it just starts with a few people and consistent. And let's talk about that for just two seconds. If you're going to have a group page out there where you're not selling Mary Kay, you guys really at all, you can, you can promote your business. You can promote a lot of things, but you're not actually there to sell your Mary Kay. But when you have that out there, you want to consistently be in there like one, once a week, three times a week, but make sure it's not once a week and then you don't do anything again for a month. And I've, trust me, I've done that. Or you do it two times a week and the next week you do it five times and then you find some really cool things and one day you send put seven things out there. Uh-uh, no. It's gotta be kind of cons consistent throughout and, and again, if you don't know what you're going to post, go look out there and see what other people are posting. But if you're using the product or have a thought and do a little quick video, 
the don't don't sell this way on your personal page okay linda tupin and, and i'm going to just say this real quick there's an 80 20 rule 80 80 percent of your personal page needs to be about personal things and honestly my feeling is you guys and i'm a little prejudiced about this or or uh, or maybe i don't know most of the stuff that you post let it be you don't just repost other people's wonderful motivational things that they're posting don't do that do that occasionally but most of the posts need to be a picture of your family a picture of something that you know that that's going to lift other people so that's it 80 percent 20%, you can talk Mary Kay. They need to know you've got a business that you love and show some pictures or, or things like that where you're not actually saying, hey, I've got three of these for sale, anybody would buy one or I'm placing an order tomorrow night. You don't do that, okay? Use it properly and you can engage people and not push people away. Susan, two cents. Y'all know to make it, we, didn't, we just keep talking about, oh, on your personal page. If you don't know how to create a page, you know, reach out to, to somebody who does. Okay. I, I'm not the expert at setting that up, but I do have a personal page. They're not hard to do. And then you can invite your clients to join that personal group. That's where you can talk about it. You, if, you know, I stole Teresa's name. I'm, she's Teresa's Lifestyle and Beauty Lounge. So of course I'm Susan's Lifestyle and Beauty Lounge. Nora, are you Nora's Lifestyle and Beauty Lounge? I mean, I don't know, but Kathy Allworth's Kathy's Beauty Bar and, you know, but something fun. It doesn't have to be, you know, um, Diane's Mary Kay friends you know it could but do something fun on there I like that she did lifestyle and beauty lounge because we don't just post about Mary Kay things on there it's just about things that would be interesting to our clients as women um, it might be recipes or a, you know a fashion thing or that type but trying to to make it a consistent thing is very important and I'm I don't know on our on our group pages like that is it just like on uh our our team unit pages Tracy can you schedule those posts yes yes, yes you can. so maybe you have you know you schedule something that that for the week you're gonna you're gonna schedule for Monday Wednesday Friday doesn't have to be every day but go ahead and schedule them out I find that I'll get on my play catch up and I'll do like 10 things and then it's, it's 10 days till I do something else that's not ideal and don't have to be perfect you know just just get started on it and they'll, so they'll quick, love it. quick question there so i know with hootsuite we were able to schedule so we can still do that you do it within face within the group with, within the group now within the group page yes no I, i'm sorry let me rephrase that we pulling mary Kay information on hootsuite we used because they were linked to the digital right, zone right right which is ridiculous okay so <laughs> totally does ridiculous. that does that still no. exist like when no. we go into the digital zone can you schedule directly from there now no all you're doing no. in the digital okay. zone is lifting the pictures or the okay. copy that you want and then you're putting them in whatever medium like if you're yep. using them for canva or whatever Right. So you can create it. Some of them are already kind of done and you just save it as a JPEG and just post it up there as your post. So okay. no, and then you'll schedule it in Facebook. In with, Facebook, okay. In your group gotcha. page. Ooh, my glasses. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. Good question. Anybody else? I hope this was helpful. We do need to let you know that, well, well, one exciting thing, Teresa and I are hanging out together. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're taking a girlfriend trip to... Madison, Indiana, where we're going to shop and eat and uh -huh. shop some more, yes. and eat some more. So that'll be fun. And we'll, we'll um, touch base with you through our Facebook Mary Kay unit groups and let you know what we're doing because friendships in Mary Kay are the very best part. And then next Tuesday, we will not have a huddle. Um, I have a philanthropic sorority that I belong to and we meet always on that night and there's always some other things going on. So with a, that's okay. Let that be a night that you instead of the half hour you would have spent with us, get on there and learn about social media. Watch some videos on In Touch. Educate yourself. Do some social posts. Um, but utilize that time you had set aside uh, to learn with us to learn on your own or connect with another consultant and share ideas, something like that. So next week, and we'll post and remind you that we're not on there. So get your PCP done. That's the most important thing you do tonight. Done. Okay? Done. Love you guys. Thanks for being on with us tonight. Bye. Love you. Bye. 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 Bye.